For those who are at this moment looking for their loved ones, the whole of Spain weeps with you. That from Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez as he spoke in a televised address as at least 95 people are confirmed now to have died in the deadliest flooding there in decades. Sanchez promising to rebuild as bridges and buildings have been swept away. The eastern region of Valencia battered by the storm, which dumped a year's worth of rain in just eight hours. Well, a little earlier on, I spoke to a correspondent in Madrid, Sarah Morris, she gave us the latest. The daylight is bringing uh, some aid to those uh, hundreds and hundreds of volunteers that are out on the streets this morning. Uh, trying to clean up, uh, trying to uh, get their uh, villages, towns uh, back to some degree of normality. Uh, but the uh, military and the soldiers are going to be absolutely uh, crucial. More than a thousand of them uh, deployed from Madrid and other areas, going uh, to the worst hit area, Valencia, also going to the central parts of Spain, Albacete, all of them looking for survivors. And uh, the defence minister, Margarita Robles, uh, said, uh, um, asked uh, whether that uh, death toll of 95 could rise. Uh, she said, unfortunately, we're not optimistic. Uh, we know that the police uh, in areas like Albacete in the central part of Spain, where five people are missing, uh, they used thermal cameras uh, last night to try to look uh, for signs of life. Uh, we know uh, that uh, in many areas there's a meter and a half of mud, and that makes uh, finding and uh, locating people very, very difficult. Uh, we know that the forensic teams uh, have gone from all parts of Spain to help with the identification of people. Many people are desperately calling the media uh, even today to say that they still have no news of relatives and uh, cars blocking all sorts of villages and towns. Uh, some of those uh, towns worst hit in Valencia said they didn't actually get a drop of rain, uh, but it was the rivers overflowing by as much as three metres over the top of those rivers that washed cars into shops and homes. And until some of those cars are removed from the streets where they're piled up, it will make it very difficult indeed uh, uh, for the rescue workers uh, to properly get in and out uh, with heavy machines. Uh, there was an appeal that went out uh, uh, from Carlos Mathon, the head of uh, the Valencia region. He said uh, people should not uh, use their vehicles on those lanes that have been set up for the emergency services uh, to get through to the people who need it most.